is, yeah, you know what? That last set doesn't matter. If I can take down John Numbers and secure my place in Loser's Final against Fawn, that's what I'm going to need. So let's see our boy, if our boy has the confidence. Gets a grab. Like, this is a matchup he's much more comfortable with. It's not a minus two like he says Cloud is. Right now taking a little bit of damage. Doesn't matter. If there are not some unwanted Pikmin, red and yellow, it's fine. We got the blue. We got the white. We have no more blue. And John's struggling to get back unhurt. He's in the range of the yellow Pikmin to his advantage. Following John up in the air? Nah, John just double jumped away. It's not worth it. All of them are just a little too light. John's neutral is able to just get off all the Pikmin in one go. A nice up smash. John dropped shield. Could have tanked that for a little bit. And still living. John always comes back right in front of Kirby 509's face. And no punish. And it's going to be where you see that, that, that kind of like short hop down air. That is what we're going to see a lot in this matchup. Uh, I mean, it has been effective with the purple Pikmin and the yellow do, Pikmin. Yellow do, for range, but purple for the... I know that purple down air doesn't spike, but do the do all of the others spike, or does, like, only some? I believe yellow I, spikes. Does Okay, I, I, I imagine they all spike but purple, since purple is always the blunt hit. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen Kirby 509 spike with anything else, though. But I could be wrong. Yeah. Nothing comes to mind. But right now, Kirby 509 locked in. Keep in mind that John does have deep breathing. Never mind, no deep breathing. This is the perfect time to pressure him. Aw, oh, didn't need the yellow anyway. Instead, we're keep hanging on to the purple, the red, and the yellow is back. Now right, we got some range. Aw, oh, never mind. No range. Instead, just raw power. John not in grab range just yet to use the blue to its perfect effectiveness. Kirby air dodging. Ooh. Ooh, he threw away the purple Pikmin to have just enough gas to get back. Mark is so belligerent. Purple does spike in here from chat. Okay. Oh, never mind. I, I, I could have sworn it was just like a, a... Yeah, but that well, that still does also make sense. Did you get up? Oh, no. Avoids it. Doing a good job of just staying out of John's range. The pivot forward tilt could have been the end of Kirby's life there. Kirby's got some pretty risky rolls there. John hasn't been able to punish just yet. Rasmus on the platform. Kirby 509 is just happy to throw everything at John, hoping something sticks. There we go. Forward smash. It's so good. And Kirby 509 has said that before, being like, I forget how good forward smash is. I can just throw that out and not get punished. Unless you're John, you can punish that. And now just uh, John happy to just get rid of some Pikmin. Dashing on in. We do have the purple, white, and blue configuration. And the grab does get larger the more Pikmin you have. So Kirby was trying to just catch a John on his recovery. Didn't get a 147. All right, the double blue, the double purple is there. But John ready for the tech. Just hasn't been able to find that hit. All right, nice jab, but again, no tech situation. Kirby 509 is taking just hit after hit. What a stall off stage. John just needs one back air. Get up attack. All right, we do have blue. John knows that Kirby is going to want to grab. And now it's John's turn to throw everything in the kitchen sink. Going high. Trying to get the up air. And Kirby is just whipping every time. And even when he does it, it's these stray hits. Get the soccer ball out of there. 191. We've had a lot of brawl numbers today. Finally, I think that was a four there. John with a spike there on the platform. Kirby 509 
Uh, I'm gonna go to ledge. Throw out the yellow, flanking with the sun. I've seen Kirby just try and get as close as possible, get a spike, anything. All John has to do is just dash in. Kirby's still living. Ooh. Alright, Kirby's still alive. For how much longer, we don't know. John's gonna go off and get a spike. Never mind. Great use of the purple. Kind of bait John at ledge. Oh my god. Honestly, frame perfect getup because he knew that John was trying to go for those knees, but still got him with the forward tilt. And it looks like we are getting maybe some bans. They're talking about it, or hey, we'll just run it back to small battlefield. Why not? I mean, a very close game for both players, but John just wouldn't die that last stock. And it really got on Kirby's head. He's had a bit of a killing problem tonight. Yeah, jumped over the knees just to get forward tilted. But you know what? Now is not the time to get tilted. Keep your head in the game and take it to game three. It's an ever-evolving game plan here, depending on what Pikmin you do have. So Kirby 519 has been so good at keeping those resources on lock. John, 103, 30 seconds into this match. Kirby 519 still can't get a spike. A nice get-up attack. And there we go, a zero to death. Kirby is back in it. And throwing the purple Pikmin. And now in the lead, can take his time to surgically remove John's second stock. Much more liberal use of this forward smash. It's unpunishable if you're just at the right range. With the use of the whistle to just get back on stage. And while they did take some damage, I'd rather have some damage on me than losing a stock. Alright, pulled out a yellow. And the purple coming in clutch once more. Again for a second time. John is trying to stay away from Kirby's range. Kirby wants to grab. He has the blue. And that down air was death, but John is nearly a triple digits. Wow, the red pigment just took the entire fully charged sun into the face, stopped it. And once more, I do believe a forward smash, and that purple pigment taking John's second life, that didn't even feel like it was gonna kill. Once more, Kirby. If you ever face John, you never wanna give him advantage, because he always has the ability to bring it back even if it's from, like, the brink of death. John's at ledge. Are we trying to follow? That range of the yellow is so far compared to the rest of the Pikmin. John just has to remember that. If not, he's going to keep getting punished at ledge like that. Oh, he felt that up smash, especially with the purple. Now, if he does have double purple, he could get a shield break with a down smash. But we haven't seen double purple in quite a while. No more blue. Using the purple to just get an up air. Gets up. Back air. Double back air. And we do have, finally have two purples. And the down tilt into the forward air. Again, no spike, but no double jump either here. Forced to recover low. And definitely does. He's going to the other side of the stage. Still alive. Oh! Just unfortunately. Not too much gas left in the tank. Curry 509 just needs one more stock to take this to game three. Try to get that down smash. All right, the purple not finding its mark, but you know what? It's okay. And we finally see a Pikmin spike. John, run that back. He had that. He felt it. But finally, after so many attempts. Kirby finally got that spike with the Pikmin. It's very tough, too. Anyway, good use of the getup attack as well. I know John likes to get off a ledge pretty quickly and just use the header, but you know, the getup attack will actually, you know, challenge that. So. Whoa, what was that? Let's see here. 
I think that was a forward smash? No, 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 it was a down smash. Oh, no, this Aaron hit like... What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, d I didn't expect that to kill either. I'm like, oh, oh. God damn. No, that purple Pikmin is thick. It'll kill you from wherever it wants. Throw in sonic boost pads at him. <laughs> the moment you touch it, you're like, oh, all right. Guess I go this way now. Are we going in deep? And John taking a lot of damage off that one Ooh. yellow Pikmin. So, uh, Kirby509 disconnected from the ledge to try and go for a two-frame opportunity, but John swung early uh, and just got so much damage because he anticipated that, which, you know, like, that is something that Olimar is going to do a lot in this matchup and in general. Mm -hmm. uh, and, like, yeah, just John was ready for it and really turned that situation around and do a pretty decent amount of damage. Yeah. You know, Kirby 509 didn't have a lot of Pikmin there for a second, but finally has yeah. three. And it was really funny because Kirby was actually doing it from muscle memory and being like, why aren't I grabbing? Why didn't I hit anything with a forward smash? I really like that Kirby 509 is like basically like when John is off stage, like coming towards the ledge, right? If there's not much to do for the edge guard, he's keeping his back so that he can just kind of like, it's like, oh, if you do, uh, like if you go like, Hi, I'm I'm keeping back air like on on deck, and if you cover uh, like for the ledge, like I can try and react it or just like force a uh, like a, a two frame scenario. And if you just grab the ledge, well, I haven't committed to anything now, have I? Yeah, and it's like a really spooky situation. Uh, it's definitely one of those one of the characters that like definitely can benefit from not going off stage. Uh, oof. Oh my gosh. It's also, yeah, go. No, no, no. I mean, it's also just uh, Kirby 509 is not afraid to just throw out the Pikmin and just even rack up just a little bit of damage. Every percent counts here. Yeah. But right now, even throwing out the valuable ones like the purple. And this, this is a war of attrition. This is John trying to get back. Kirby trying to make a read there, too. But John doesn't really want to just roll back on stage. Not in the panic. Double purple. This is pretty big. And a yellow? Nah, he will appreciate that range. John finally gets that grab. Pressing advantage. Kirby trying to use the whistle to get safely back on stage. Doesn't need it. And once more, the, uh, the blue find its mark, but just dying. Alright, try and, try and just be on the platform. There we go, air dodges back. Purple just too far away. Man, three purples, and now fire taking his place. Like, that's... This it's is, rough. Yeah, this is some scary brawl stuff. Oh like, my god, oh, well, sheesh. only one purple now. Yeah. I'm surprised that we haven't seen Kirby 509 try and go for, like, a shield break with the double purples. But perhaps we'll see that in the future. For Grand Finals. You, can, you can really tell by the way... Sean is like playing like this ledge. He's like, he's got a very clear game plan that he's, that he's sticking to, and it is working like pretty well. Um, it's just that once, you know, because it can't be foolproof, uh, once it, once John gets past that, I think that's where like John is kind of like shining uh, and able to just like do some big damage. Also, all of our extremely light character. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, the knees that will hit the ledge. Now Kirby 509 on possible tournament stock. Oh. Alright. Try to get that spike. Doesn't get it. Not even the other. Oh my god, oh my again! God. That's so <laughs> funny. John be like, what? <laughs> yeah, how's the feel, John? How's the feel to be hit from something 500 yards away and die? That, uh, honestly? Yeah. Eat shit, John. <laughs> That, if John loses for it, that's actually so funny. Karma. John will be like, I'm so annoyed. Uh -oh. No. Oh, no. John doesn't look like he's going to lose, at least not without a fight. Ooh. Yeah. Are we just struggling to get back? Uh -oh. Ooh. Uh -oh. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I don't think he's going to make yeah. it back. Oh, barely makes it back, but he can't afford to do uh, that again. Yeah, I mean, he didn't have any Pikmin, so he was able to go, like, super far. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, Four good. tilt is all you need. And that was so close. Kirby 509 losing to John 2 1. And now John going to fight Fawn once more.
I mean, he played patiently. He played as well as he could against John once he was off stage and had some brilliant plays there. I mean, if this was a batch of patience, Kirby 509 has the patience of a monk. Oop, there we go. So is this and, the kill? No, I think it's the next stock. No, it was the next stock. Yeah, this this is just so funny. Yeah, let's see here. How far away was he? Was he even? Oh my! It clipped <laughs> his feet. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. <laughs>